Hi, I'm Claudia Cornett here at the Downtown Beaufort Library with the February 18th speaker in the Book Sandwiched In's Book Talk series sponsored by Friends of the Library. Raised in New Jersey, our speaker is Mark Warder. He holds a master's degree in administration from Boston College where he studied with renowned moral theorist Lawrence Kohlberg. Before becoming an ordained Episcopal minister, Mark founded and was CEO uh, of an executive search firm for a national corporation who uh, represented um, corporate uh, institutions and um, different municipalities that include Save the Children, Harvard University, and New York City. He, was a f he is a former member of the clergy of the Parish of St. Helena here in uh, Beaufort, and he is the author of two books of poetry. So, Mark, I want to know why you chose for your book talk the a book by Frank Foer, and it's a pretty disturbing book, entitled World Without Mind, The Existential Threat of Big Tech. Well, thank you, Claudia. Um, first off, it, it, it's, it's not light reading. Uh, I'll let you know that, but it's, it, it's fascinating. I got into to, um, high technology back in 1979. Uh, uh, with a fledgling company that, that when I was with them for, for three years, we went from $40 million to a billion dollars. And I got very interested in high technology. Can't do it. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a typical person of my age, uh, but I'm fascinated by it. And this Franklin Four uh, is, is not a novel writer. He's, he's, he's really a, a reporter, editorial writer, and, and he, he, he digs deep into the history of high technology. And you can't do that without looking forward into the future of high technology. And it could be pretty frightening. What's the, let's look at the title for World Without Mind. What's that, what's that mean related to the book? Well, it, it's, it's talking about our slowly surrendering ourselves to technology in, in terms of how we think, where we gain our information, um, uh, um, um, our, our ability to, I'll give you a quote from the book, okay, that, that, that really got to me. Information without deliberation. Mm. You know, when you ask Siri on your phone a question, do you question the answer? Or do you wonder where she got the answer? Right. And that's where the seriousness comes in. The subtitle is The Existential Threat of Big Tech. So there's two words in there, well, three actually, the word existential, that sounds pretty dramatic, mm -hmm. that tech is an existential threat. And then we'll talk about the big tech part after you talk about how is tech an existential threat to people? It has unlimited potential. In what way? Well, if you think of, of uh, Robert Frost said, the world is going to end either in fire or ice, mm. right? Um, I'll give you a third one, algorithms. And that's where the existential threat comes from. And how does that tie into big tech? And, and, and the book focuses on a few companies that in right. particular it's in are- Right, on Fega, mm -hmm. which is Facebook, Apple, Google, and Amazon. Say it again, Facebook? Facebook, Apple, Google, and Amazon, because they're really four monopolies. Apple, in my own opinion, being a little less so. Matter of fact, their stock was down 17 points, 17% today. Wow. Uh, because of lack of iPhone and I, products, uh, revenues. Uh, but certainly Facebook, Google, and Amazon uh, have the capability of being monopolies and controlling much of what we consider to be our everyday lives. So um, the sounds like a couple of the big ideas so far. Uh, you said that um, big t using something like Siri or any kind of Google searches, we or less deliberative, but um, what are some of the other big ideas in the book, other threats? Well, the, 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 the largest one actually is towards the end, and then when we're talking about the future, um, it's artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. And artificial intelligence is pure. That's what makes it frightening. And that it's, it's one and one will always be two. And it, 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 it uh, uh, which is unfortunate because it can carry on and it's unlimited. And when you think about unlimited potential, the fact that it can go on forever uh, leads you to some pretty frightening conclusions. So are we looking at um, a threat to privacy, certainly, uh, from big mm -hmm. tech? Mm -hmm. um, 
It's very convenient, though, but is that a positive thing? Or I'm sure there are obviously downs. It's downs like anything like else. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, it, it's, 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 it's the two-edged sword. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's tremendously positive. Amazon, um, Amazon um, discovered <coughs> excuse me, um, the flu virus last year, tracked it faster than the CDC did. Wow. Just based on what uh, Siri and, and uh, Alexa we're listening to in your home. But the downside of Amazon. But the downside of Amazon is that, again, that's a privacy issue. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you don't want to be tracked. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't want to, to, to have uh, 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 somebody answering you even when you don't ask a question. Um, uh, but what do you do with the information? It's like anything else. It could be high tech can always, and, and science can always answer how, you know, but they'll never answer why. Well, what do you most want the audience to take away from your book talk? Caution. You know, I'm, I'm not, <coughs> um, excuse me, I'm not a, um, uh, uh, you know, I, I believe Lee Harvey Oswald shot Kennedy. I don't think uh, mm -hmm. the, the conspiracy theory is not my big thing. But um, um, I, I think that there is the possibility of, again, of unlimited potential with these companies that in fact could be uh, uh, not only the end of privacy, but literally the end of democracy. Thank you, Mark. If you want to hear Mark's entire 45 minute book talk on Without, World Without Mind, The Existential Threat of Big Tech, and that takes place on February the 18th, the venue is UNSCB's Center for the Arts at 805 Carteret in downtown Beaufort. All book talks are free and open to the public, and they start at 12 noon. If you would like to come early, the doors are open at 11.30, and there's free coffee and cookies and good conversation. If you'd like a schedule of all the Book Sandwiched In book talks, you can pick up a rack card at the Beaufort Library, or visit the Friends website, all one word, friendsofthebeaufortlibrary.com, or you can email friendsbeaufort at gmail.com. Thank you. Hope to see you on February 18th. <laughs>